What is up guys? Chilled Cacus here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we are going to be showcasing the brand new Titan exotic helmet, the Precious Scars, just added into Destiny 2 with the Beyond Light expansion. Now the second half of this video is going to be showcasing how this exotic works, where it's going to be good, etc. And that's normally what happens for an exotic armor review video, but the first half is going to be showcasing how to get it. And normally you wouldn't need that because all you would need to do is get lucky. Exotic armor is acquired through RNG, but not with Beyond Light. There's actually a specific method, a specific farming strategy you can do to get these new exotics. So let's get started. But just before we do, if you find this video useful, there's a lot more where that came from. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of content similar to this in the future. Always keep up to date with Destiny 2. All right, now how to get the new Beyond Light exotic armor pieces is to do kind of a new thing that's been added and that is Legend and Master Lost Sectors. So. As you can see right here, when I open up the Cosmodrome and I go to Exodus Garden 2A, it has a new icon and it is a legend lost sector. And then if we look at the rewards, if you do it solo, you can get the exotic head armor. However, there's some very important information to know about. Firstly, if you don't see these anywhere, it's because you have to beat the Lost Sectors on the Cosmodrome and on Europa normally to unlock the 1250 Legend difficulty and the 1280 Master difficulties. But depending on when you're watching this video, it may or may not be in the Cosmodrome and that's because the Legend and the Master Lost Sectors rotate every single day. So there's gonna be one random Legend from either the Cosmodrome or Europa and one random Master. And all the different Lost Sectors are dropping a specific armor piece. So this one specifically is Helmets, but the one today at the time I'm recording is Legs. Now, obviously the Leg Armor one, well, I beat it still, but I'm only gonna get old exotics because there is no new Beyond Light leg armor. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be farming, farm the ones that actually have the ability to drop the new exotics. So let's talk about how to beat it. Importantly, you are going to have champions and it's a Grandmaster style system where you have three revives and get one more every champion you kill. For this one specifically, you're going to have barrier champions and overload champions. So, I'm using anti-barrier SMG rounds and overload auto rifle rounds, both of which are equipped on my arms because they're armor mods now. For the SMG, I'm using the Kinetic Cold Front, often forgotten about, but simply because this one has Vorpal Weapon, which does extra damage against those champions, gonna take down their shields much faster than normal. Now, the other weapon, Gnawing Hunger. This thing is cracked out of its mind, it always has been. I have the curated roll, which is fantastic, and importantly, it's void, and you are gonna find some void shields within this lost sector. Now, in terms of damage dealing, I have the Anarchy, which normally is extremely hard to get, but with the new system of being able to just directly buy it, this is a lot more accessible. The Wither Horde would be good also kind of for this slot, but it's disabled right now. In any event, the plan is simple. When I see a champion, I double tick it with the Anarchy, and then if it's a barrier champion, when that barrier goes up, I make sure to shoot it. Now you don't actually have to shatter it and commit and potentially put yourself in danger. You can just slowly pick away at it and it won't regen. And then when it goes away, you know, continually damage it with the Anarchy. And the same thing really goes for the overload champions. Get that overload effect to stun them, double tick them, and then when they get back up, try to stun them again, and usually they're dead pretty soon after. Now as for the super, bubble is always great, but only if you have the Helm of Saint-14. Enemies come into your bubble so much in this lost sector, I didn't have it when I did it, and it was really, really bad. So make sure to have that Helm, or use an ad clearing super actually instead. Another warning I have for you guys, be really careful of going on top of the structures within this lost sector. As you can see, enemies will randomly teleport up beside you. It is infuriating, but it will get you killed if you don't know about that. And one more tip, 
technically you acquire the exotic from the end chest so you can kill the boss, run to the chest, and as long as you open it, you can still get it even if there's enemies around. But depending on how underleveled you are, you may want to take some extra time to clear out all those ads before grabbing that end chest. All right, now that's how to get it. Let's talk about how it performs. The intrinsic perk is called Kintsugai. After reviving or being revived, you gain an aura that provides overshields to you and nearby allies. Okay, so how that works in a PvP environment is kind of what you would expect. You have to be playing a game mode where revives are enabled, and the main one everyone is obviously thinking of is Trials of Osiris. When I get revived, you can see there's a little bit of an effect and animation that goes between myself and my nearby ally that revived me. Now, if you look at the corner of the screen, you can see there is a countdown timer. So you get nine seconds of this shielding effect. Importantly, it provides approximately a 50% bonus. Like it took nine shots from the Suros regime to kill me normally, and then around, you know, 13-ish to kill me with the overshield. It also seems to provide the exact same bonus to yourself and nearby allies. But let's talk about that nearby allies. How nearby is nearby? Well, you can actually see a circular aura as you can see when this effect is ongoing. So anyone within that circle will be affected and it's a pretty darn big circle as you can see. I'm like pretty far away and you can still see that connecting line. Also, we did test it and it does go through walls. Now shifting to some PvE gameplay, uh, something else we discovered that was pretty important is the fact that the stack will not reset. So let's say you revive a teammate and you get those nine seconds and it counts down to five and you revive another teammate, it's gonna keep counting down from five. It won't go back up to nine seconds of protection. So keep that in mind and also that means that if you do have multiple teammates dead, you may want to revive one, fight with that guy and then when the nine seconds are up, revive the other one and get that buff again rather than get them both at the same time. However, of course, if you do have an overshield, it makes getting that second revive a lot easier. Another important quirk is that when the overshield goes down, even if there's time remaining, the buff seems to go away. So let's say you all have an overshield, someone throws a grenade and then takes away that overshield from everyone, the buff will stop, like you won't regen back up your overshield. So what are the implications of this exotic? Well, PvE-wise, potentially, and again, what we're doing here, is that it allows you to play a lot more aggressively, like run around with a shotgun, with a sword, and if you die, who cares? Because your teammates just revive you and then everyone gets an overshield, so it's very easy to survive from that point forward. The problem here is that nine seconds in PvE is just too short. And also, although the radius is pretty darn good, again, in PvE, it's definitely a little bit smaller than you would hope. And, it is kind of that interesting thing of, yeah, it's a good bonus, but it only happens when you die. So if you're playing well, if you just don't die, your exotic does literally nothing. And that obviously also applies to a PvP environment. If you're doing well, if you're not dying, this exotic is doing nothing. However, of course, when you're playing something like Trials of Osiris, you're probably gonna die. Like, unless you're cracked out of your mind and never dying, you're probably gonna get killed a few times, and therefore, getting revived in those type of game modes and getting that overshield benefit is quite good. Especially because it applies to the person that revived you, or it applies to you when you revive that person, because usually the person that's getting revived has that little bit of revive protection. They already have kind of an overshield, so the person in danger is the guy doing the reviving. He's the guy that gets gunned down easily. So the fact that it kind of protects everyone is a little bit of a game changer. Personally, where I see this exotic shining is in carries. Like, if you're getting sherpa if you're the lesser skilled player and your friends are really good, put this thing on because you're really only benefiting them whenever they revive you. You're letting them 
win more gunfights off a of revive, and when you do go for them and get them up, again, you have a better chance to turn the tides against the team that's likely charging you and attacking you to try to secure that kill. In fact, eventually, if I see stream titles called like carrying people through trials must have precious cars, I wouldn't be that surprised, because again, it really does help the people that are carrying you. And so guys, that's it for a quick look at this exotic and also how to get it. I hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.